Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and as always, thank you so much for coming back. Um, so, I'm about to launch the next series, and it's going to be covering rising signs. So I thought that I'd spend this video just explaining the fundamentals of what is a rising sign, what does it mean for me, before we launch into what, what the specifics are. So the next series is going to cover what it means to be an Aries rising, all the way through what it means to be a Pisces rising. So... Rising signs are our first impression, they're our mask, they're our coping mechanism, they're sort of the way that other people perceive us, the way that other people perceive us, whether it's accurate or not. And um, like whether it's the way we actually feel on the inside or not. So these are cunning, beautiful, and complex parts of our personality because in some cases the outsides do not match the insides. However, it is how other people are perceiving us. So a rising sign generally shows up in the first house. And the first house is about first impressions. It's about immediate contact. It's literally the most forward-facing part of our personality. So for certain people with a really bold rise sign in the first house like a Leo rising even if they're the most introverted sign you know like a cancer or a Scorpio there's going to be something magnetic and attention drawing and attention seeking about their personality even if that doesn't match the way that they feel on the inside so the way that I you know tend to like blanket statement talk about a rising sign is it's the head of PR it dresses you in the morning it makes you friends it lands you jobs it gets you second dates so this is true truly sort of like our landing, like our um, contact card, you know what I mean? Like our, our CV, our resume, how are other people, you know, immediately deciding if they want to talk to us and interact with us. So a rising sign is a coping mechanism. It is the way that we've learned how to navigate the world. The reason you guys have seen this many times in your closest friendships and with your closest family members, so I'm gonna tell you how, you how you've seen it. So think about your best friend in the world, or think about a parent that you're very close with, and think about how they act when they meet someone new. You know, the face that they put on. And so this is the funniest part of anyone's personality because they might put on their people-pleasing side of their personality, you know, someone who's overly kind and overly accommodating when they meet new people, or someone where they're very friendly, but when they meet someone new, they clam up and even seem harsh and even seem a little bit guarded and even rude at times. So rising signs, you know, they show up all the time. They show up in our day-to-day -day lives, in particular at work. So this is why getting to know your coworkers rising sign almost might be more important than getting to know their sun sign because that's what you're dealing with when you're in a meeting or when you're in a, on a client call, rising signs are showing up. So um, find this out in your chart and it might be a funny story for you of explaining why you might act a certain way with new people or when you're giving a first impression. The hard part about this is that there can be total contradictions in someone's chart. So someone could be, let's say, um, a Leo, but they're a Cancer rising. So they're very self-expressive and very bold on the inside, and yet their rising sign makes them very timid, very shy, and kind of seem like the guy or girl next door who's non-threatening. And that is so, it's a feeling of my outsides do not match my insides, and that can happen very often. So the point of a chart reading is to understand how are all these different elements interacting with each other. So, but first we're gonna start by understanding just what your rising sign means. So um, I hope this clarifies a little bit before I launch into the next series and you can feel free to DM me on Instagram or send me an email if you have any questions at all and um, I'm really excited to launch the next series. So we're going to start with Pisces this time just because we normally start with Aries and we want to make sure that they get to be seen first. So thank you guys so much and have a good day.